This is the advanced lesson for the um, Mando Mike free monthly lesson for November 2018. Um, we're going to learn an old time tune called Cumberland Gap. Well, we're not going to learn it. The intermediate version, which I have linked below, looks at learning the basic melody. What we're going to do in this advanced lesson is we're going to add some ornamentation and um, maybe we're going to look at um, putting some chords underneath the melody whilst we play the melody to uh, make it a bit more interesting. So if you don't already know this melody, I suggest you give the intermediate lesson a quick watch um, and then head back here when you can play the basic melody. So we're going to start with adding some slides, uh, some pull-offs, some hammer-ons and a, and a couple of grace notes. Um, I'm not going to guide you through every single hammer-on and slide pull-off I do in this tune. Um, if you want all of them tabbed out, um, then download the tab. It's linked below. Uh, it's on a little PDF worksheet um, and that has every one I do. Um, I'm just going to highlight three little examples of what you can do um, to a, you know, a basic melody to make it sound a bit more interesting on the mandolin. So we'll start with bars one and two, which sound like this. So what I would do, um, first straight away, I would put a slide in between the four and the six with a B and the C sharp. So we're gonna go. So you're sliding between the two notes. And then um, with the next bar, instead of just going, I'm going to add a little um, semitone below that first note just to make it a little more interesting. So instead of, I'm going to go, so I'm going to slide in from the third fret of the F natural. So our phrase now sounds like this. Which to me is just way, way better than we get. The start of the B part, um, where originally we just go, we can make that way more interesting um, by sliding up to the seventh fret from the fifth fret and adding a couple of uh, extra open strings in there. So instead of, we can go. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the fifth fret and sliding up to the seventh fret and then picking two open. Which it just sounds, again, a lot nicer, I think. Um, and then with the C part, um, instead of, we can add a little grace note in. Um, well, first of all, I'm doing a quick slide up to the first note. So instead of just going, I'm going. And then I'm going. I don't know if you can hear that little grace note. That sound. Uh, and the trick with grace notes, so um, the actual note is our F sharp, or second fret. And the grace note we're adding is the semitone above, the G or the third fret. Um, so whereas normally in the run you would your plectrum would play the, the note of the F sharp with the grace note you're going to put your finger on the third fret and play that note and then instantly almost instantaneously pull off to the second fret and you want it as quick as you can so you want this sound because if you do it any slower it starts you end up adding a note to the bar which you don't want to do then you'll end up with a four and a half beat bar you want this sound. Not. Because then you're adding beats. So the phrase instead of. Sounds like this. And then you do it on the. And that's the best way I can describe a, a, a grace knot really is it's a very quick pull off. Quick as you can. Any too slow and it'll uh, you'll start adding beats where you don't want to. Okay, so now let's play the whole tune with those added slides and uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Again, if you want the full tab with all the hammer-ons and pull-offs I'm doing, um, click the link below. Um, we're going to play this about 
130 BPM, which I'm kind of going to follow the metronome. Um, and I'm just going to play it through once so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, the idea with these is you can do as many or as little of these as you want. It's sort of a personal preference. This is just how I would add um, sort of bits of ornamentation to a tune. So here we go. This is the Cumberland Gap. Uh, one, two, three, four. As well as the hammer-on slides and pull-offs, we can start adding some drone notes. Uh, this is in the key of D. We've got D and A as open strings that are both in, in that key, so we can sort of add them in when they're not being used. So let's take our opening phrase, for example. So when you play those first three notes, your D string is spare, so you can just kind of play it at the same time. Just keep it, keep it ringing there as, a, as an open note. Uh, and then in the second bar, your A is a spare string, so... So your phrase now sounds like this. You, basically, you're being a bit loose with your right hand just to get some of the old open strings. Uh, like an old-time fiddler would, really. Is the A part. Um, and then in the B part, um, we're going to change what we did slightly. Instead of going, I'm going to start, because the melody's right up here on the E string, we've got three strings below that we can add a chord in underneath. So I'm going to add an A chord underneath with a C sharp on the bass with a sixth fret. So it sounds like this. So I'm going to go strong. So that's what I'm doing slowly. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to create like a bass line that runs throughout the whole B part. So we're going to start with our bass note on the C sharp. And then for bar two, we're going to move it down to a B and create sort of like a D over a B chord. So. You could argue it's a B minus six, but I'm going to say it's a D over a B. Um, and then bar three goes to a G chord, so we can replicate that with the bass. So, so far we've got... Uh, and then in the very last bar, um, we're going to add a quick six C sharp two, so uh, from the G part. So the very last four, sort of five notes sound like this. So very quick. So our bass note of the whole, whole B section uh, is C sharp, E, G, which sounds a bit odd on its own, but in context it sounds like this. Okay, so finally we're going to take that principle again. I'm not going to talk through every little drone I'm adding. Um, let's play the tune again with the slides and ornamentations, with the grace note, and then with some sort of drones in there as well. So about the same speed, about 1, 130 BPM. Okay, one.
that's it for this month's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed the tune they've chose. Um, do head over to mandomike.com, sign up to the, the mailing list so these get sent direct to your inbox. Um, and we'll, we'll see you next month. <laughs>